Hi guys, this is Neve here from Breastfeeding Style. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, it's a year on and I've had a second son. His name is Noah and he's 13 weeks old now. And Charlie is three and three months. So we're getting on great, we're tandem feeding and having fun. Um, I just wanted to show you the boots that I talked about in my blog. The ones that I was saying are part of my classic wardrobe that haven't dated and have worn in really well. So the first pair that I got are these tan new book suede boots. They have been rehealed twice as you can see I wore them down completely one time so that we add an extra bit there. Um, so these ones are really good. They have kept their colour. The leather has been out in all kinds of weather and I haven't waterproofed it. They take a day or two to um, day or two to dry out if you've been out in really bad rain, otherwise they're fine and you can see like the rain kind of soaks in but they're really good, they've come back well. Um, they've kind of slouched a little bit which looks really good and I wear these in summer with bare legs or sheer tights um, and skirts or dresses. Um, I've also worn these in the winter, I put like leg warmers on top of tights just to look like a sock sometimes. Um, I'd wear these mostly daytime. I have worn them out at night when I'm wearing kind of a cream or a beige kind of coloured outfit. They're really comfortable and I've put in a pair of insoles because I've worn them so much. Um, and I do tend to kind of walk in these. I've gone for walks around the block and spent 12 hours, 14 hours in these and no problems at all. But I have good thick insoles in them. The second pair, I like them so much, I went out the same season and I bought them in black. They look slightly different. The, the suede is a little bit thinner and they've worn in a little bit differently but they have their own characteristic look I think. They've got silver here instead of brass and again <clears throat> they've been out in all kinds of weather. They're great. I've worn these a lot at night with kind of skinny jeans or black leggings and they go with anything. They dress up little black dresses. They just make anything look really rock. They've got that squared toe again and um, it is a perfect classic boot. Both of these are about five years old now. You can still get them online and they also came with chocolate brown which I've seen online. So that's a really nice kind of in-between. It would do day or night and looks dressy too if you want. Um, today I went shopping and I've been wanting a pair of ankle boots for ages. I've been googling them and looking at them for about $100 or $150. I'm nearly going to buy a pair online which is kind of dodgy because I've got kind of wide fitting feet and I wasn't sure if I was going to get the right size. But then I went into TK Maxx and I found these beauties for 18 euros, which I think is about $25. They're on sale. They've got this cowboy stitching and they've got the pointed toe, slightly kind of um, worn toe just to make it look like it's got a patina. They've got this cool kind of a striped leather effect, kind of like a fringe, but it's sewn in both sides, so it just kind of hangs and it does its own thing back here. They're 100% leather, so are the other boots by the way. These are 100% leather outers and inners, and um, they have a, I think that's a plastic sole or a rubber sole, and a good block heel as well, so they're comfortable. Um, I'm going to wear these with skinny jeans and leggings coming into the fall because I've wanted a pair of ankle boots for ages since I saw them on True North Styles um, YouTube channel. You should check her out, she's brilliant. Um, and I like them because they're kind of dressy but they would be good for daytime as well. But I can see me wearing them out at night, if I get to go out at night. And um, they just add a kind of a nice rock kind of a feel to an outfit. The only thing is they are quite pointy. I'll just compare these to the other boots. The other ones. The other ones have kind of stretched a little bit with wear, but they were wide to begin with, whereas these are pointy. I don't really do well on pointy toes in general. So if these prove uncomfortable, I'm gonna have them stretched in my local heel bar who do stretching costs like five euros, which is about seven dollars. So I love these and 18 euros you can't go wrong. So um just wanted to share that with you guys. Please keep watching and check out my blog, it's breastfeedingstyle.blogspot.com and I'm gonna be keeping um the story of our breastfeeding and how it's going there. 
Um, any other news? I'm going to be doing a few beauty shots and outfit of the days as well. Today I was wearing, I took a full length shot earlier, I was wearing a purple pencil skirt, this beige kind of cardigan and this kind of burnout white vest, it's an oversized vest with a white vest um, layered underneath it as well. So I was pulling up the oversized vest for breastfeeding and it was really comfortable, really easy to wear. And this little locket is from H&M. It's a little Bambi locket. Let's see, can I get closer here? It's a Bambi locket. It cost me two euros fifty. It's a gold look metal, and it opens up, so it's really cute. And um, that's it. My makeup, I kept it really simple. I didn't do my eyeliner fix that I normally go for when I have time. I didn't have much time, so I just did my mascara, my eyebrows, a bit of lipstick, and a bit of blush. Um, and then in the car, I got my gold eye pencil and went over the eyelids and a bit on the highlighter of the brow bone. So really simple. Um, I just found these here. These are a pair of ballet flats. I should have put them away. Um, these are a pair I bought in New Look. They're the first um, fake leather, what do you call it, like PVC shoes that I've bought in a long, long time. I don't wear them that much because they're kind of sweaty to wear, even though they're lined in cotton. You can feel that it's not leather and they don't compare to my black ballerina flats but I thought the style of them was really nice and I think I got them for like 10 euros on sale they're just a nude kind of a beige colour and they look like leather that's why I was drawn to them in the first place they didn't have that normal look of people see they weren't over shiny or anything they're comfortable, it's a little rubber sole and I wore them a lot in the summer they look good at the time so um, I'm either in my cowboy boots or the ballet flats or my trusty converse and that is my tip for you breastfeeding mothers out there. Pick a couple of shoe styles that will go with everything. Skirts, dresses, jeans, leggings. And just buy those shoes. Invest in them. They will last. Only buy real leather. Anyway. Um, take care. Hope you guys are all well. If you want me to do a request for a video or anything. If you want any breastfeeding tips. I'm not a breastfeeding counsellor. I'm just a mother who's been doing it for three and a bit years. Um, but I would be delighted to share any tips that have worked for me because we've got a really good breastfeeding thing going. And my son, who's three, still breastfeeds on and off, I'd say six or seven times in a 24-hour period. He breastfeeds through the night now since the baby was born. He used not to. He had gone down to um, two feeds a day, morning and evening, like on waking and going to sleep. And that's where he was for the last few months of the pregnancy. But um, he has gone up to his feet again because he needs to be a baby because I have another baby. So he wants to remind me that he's my baby, which is fine. And I have the time and I have the energy and I have just got about the patience for it. Not always. That when the other small baby's crying, then he gets priority, obviously. But it's working out well. So if you want any tips, please let me know. If you want any wardrobe styling tips, what to wear, if you want me to do any reviews of nursing bras, I have given away most of them because I don't tend to wear them because they drive me nuts, I hate bras and I haven't, I haven't found a good nursing bra yet. Um, well I found one nice one, um, but I still don't even like to wear it because I hate the feel of the bra around your back. Um, the best one I found, I'll do a review on it actually because it's worth showing you. It's an agent provocateur which I was really impressed with. I didn't think they would do any nursing bras, um, but I found one. Um, so I'll talk about that another time, babbling, um, thank you, and if you like my channel, please tell your friends. Bye.